Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? I know it's been a long night. Just bear with us for a few more moments. <laughs> um, four years ago, a friend introduced me to a new genre of television that I had never heard of before. She showed me my very first Korean drama. Korean dramas are televised dramas in the Korean language that typically last 12 to 24 episodes. And back then, I didn't know just how much that one hour of televised, of subtitled television would affect me in the future. My friend and I set up a schedule to watch one episode every day after school. By the third episode, I was hooked. And I was growing impatient at the rate that we were going. Just watching one episode per day wasn't enough for me. So I did the most logical thing I could think of. I went home and watched the rest of the episodes and finished the entire series all in one night. But who hasn't done that? <laughs> Granted, when I saw my friend the next day, I didn't tell her. <laughs> and to this day, she still doesn't know. I'm sorry, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> but it was this encounter with the foreign culture that helped that sparked an interest that would affect me in the future. Now, two years later, I had watched uh, five to six more dramas, and when I heard that um, middle, a, school, a teacher from my old middle school was starting a Korean language school, I was thrilled. I wanted, now I had the chance to learn the language that I was seeing through the computer screen. And I was getting a bit tired of reading the subtitles. So I started learning Korean when I was 16 years old. I started in the beginner's level, and now I'm in the intermediate level. But throughout learning the language, I was, not only was I exposed to the spoken Korean, but I was also exposed to the Korean culture. Now as you, can all see I am not Korean. I grew up in a traditional Hispanic family. My parents immigrated from Mexico, and I was raised with Mexican, traditional Mexican values in the United States. Through my parents, I learned to, through my parents, I learned to value a good education and a better future for myself. My parents always kept a close eye on my grades. And just recently, they kept constantly reminding me that I needed to turn in important documents for college. At times, I was a bit annoyed, but it did keep me on my toes. So, but by far the most important value that I learned from them was family and togetherness. Every time we ate a meal, we waited until everyone present sat down, and then we would start eating. I think this is my favorite aspect of the Hispanic culture. Now, when I started learning Korean, I noticed that there were some similarities between my native culture and the Korean culture. For one, they both value education and family. But there was one aspect that I found that was really interesting, respect for elders. Now in Korean, there's a whole different type of speech that you're supposed to use when you talk to your elders versus when you talk to your friends or younger siblings. One example is when you refer to an elder, when you talk to them and you say, you know, how are you? you instead of you, you say, 당신, instead of the casual, no. And when I learned this, I noticed that you use that in Spanish too. When you're talking to your elders, respectively, you usually say usted instead of tú. I didn't know this because I always talked casually to my parents. But one day I decided to apply this and I referred to my mom as usted. And she gave me a look that's similar to one that, the look that someone gets when they accidentally drink some sour milk. <laughs> then she laughed. That day I learned to never do that again. <laughs> But just because this attempt at combining what I learned in Korean with my native culture failed, I didn't stop. I found other portions of my life to interpret the, 
incorporate this into. I learned that Koreans don't really like the sun. They usually wear sunscreen or carry umbrellas. From my understanding, it's because they don't like to tan. Now here in the United States, we have a big tanning culture. You can see it if you look around you or if you see any magazines. Celebrities always have their nice tans. Now, I learned that I didn't really like to tan. More importantly, I didn't like sunburns. So I embraced that part of the Korean culture and started using sunscreen. Now I never, there's never a day where I don't leave the house wearing sunscreen, even if I know that I will be inside all day. Another aspect of the Korean culture that I started to embrace is the food. Now, growing up in a Mexican family, traditionally I ate tortillas, meat, cheese, and beans. In Kore when I ate Korean cuisine, I noticed that they use rice and red bean in a lot of their dishes. And they do like their spice. Growing up, I didn't really like spicy food, despite being the fact that I was part of a Mexican family. So there was a lot of food in Korea. There was a lot of Korean cuisine that was really spicy. And I don't like eating spicy food because it makes my eyes tear up and my nose run. So when I ate Korean food, it was often spicy and uh, the tissues that would amount when I ate it. <laughs> but I noticed my classmates that were learning Korean with me as well, they ate it too, and they didn't really care if their, no if their faces got red or their nose got runny. So I learned that showing an unpleasant side of yourself in public isn't really that bad. So now I can tolerate spicy food just a bit more. Now, Oftentimes, when I was learning Korean and I was adapting the culture into my own, I got asked questions like, why do you want to replace Korean culture with your native culture? Or, oh, so you think you're Korean now? Or, what's so wrong about the Hispanic culture? Now, I would like to clear up these misunderstandings. I'm not rejecting my own culture. What I learned from this is that just because you want to learn more about another culture does not mean that you are replacing your native culture. It just means that you're adding more to it and making it your own. I am an 18-year-old Mexican-American girl who dabbles in Korean. This is my chosen culture, the best of both worlds. Thank you.